Well, hello there, everyone. This is Justice Curry. You're looking inside the box truck of a massive toy haul. My mother and I went on an adventure from Michigan all the way down to Louisiana in early 2024. So I want to uh, document the entire journey of driving down, whose collection it was, and ultimately the treasures that I brought back home. Uh, all this stuff will be for sale through my Facebook account, so make sure you head over to Facebook and follow Justice Curry because I'm constantly posting sales there for cheaper than you can find it any place else. I'll even put a link down in the description on how to get over to my social media because this haul was epic, entirely epic. And I'm so blessed that I got to document the entire journey with my mother. Enjoy. four in the morning woke up at three in the morning and we're embarking on our journey in a momentarily 15 hours plus it's, it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be a blast I can't wait it's, I'm gonna have some quality time with my mom which I'm looking forward to all right Lord help me Ouch. And uh, a coat and sweater on earlier when we left because it was freezing. And then... Here's 
right, so I got to the collection and it is a lot. My U-Haul's out here. My buddy Ryan's gonna move the car so we can get the U-Haul, but this is the first pile. Then there's several more piles in the back. Um, it is wonderful awesomeness. I'll, I'll go through it later. Obviously, I don't have no light to show you um, what's in here, but I'll grab my flashlight and start loading. And I just wanted to get you the initial overview. All right, so I just got here and it's a big pile. I'm glad I got the big truck. So let me show you around. Um, got a nice lift gate, but I mean, boxes upon boxes upon boxes. Some really, really cool stuff. Even thing, the very first box I open, Medusa, which I'll add to my personal collection. I mean, he's got a full set of vintage turtles too. It's, it's, um, it's amazingness. Uh, it's, fortunately, it's gonna find a good home though. My mom's already tired. She's gonna go take a nap right now, but that's okay. We're gonna get boxes upon boxes loaded up. Just want to get an update on how much stuff we've uh, packed in here. Still loading, so. I'm on toy adrenaline right now. All right, it's about midnight my time. We got to Margaritaville. Um, in what city are we? Shreveport. Shreveport, Louisiana. They, uh, I booked it online, or I booked it on the phone, and they must have overbooked. So they had to upgrade us to this bigger room and balcony. But uh, it's weird not wearing a winter coat right now in February in Michigan. is much different than February in Louisiana. So I'm not going to be, uh, I don't think I'm going to be gambling. So I want to keep my money. That is all. All right. Um, I didn't show you any pictures of the completed box truck, so I'm turning around now and show you. I know your first thought is, oh my gosh, you should have got a smaller box truck. Yes, but I didn't have the opportunity to. This was the only one available for free, so uh, beggars can't be choosers. And I wanted to have too much room instead of not enough room. But, um, I mean, there's some miscellaneous things like this. Uh, but then there's some really stellar things. I think that's a full set of every single Ninja Turtle um, with card backs, with weapons. More than likely, I'll have one of my local buddies and I'll say, hey man, I'll pay you in toys. Come over and sort these things for me because that's going to take a lot of time. And I got a few guys that are real knowledgeable in that. But um, that's vintage. And then there is some incredible modern in here. Whoa. Oh. We got here. Ah, I haven't had that set in a while. Sweet. But um, statues, primarily He-Man, G.I. Joe, but other things too that are just epic, beyond epic. A lot of Ninja Turtles like we already saw. So I can't wait to go through it and show you more. Sometimes I hate Google. Like it had me get off the expressway. We're in Arkansas. And then... In 800 feet, turn sorry. left onto US 67 North. It's talking to me. It gets me off the expressway, on some dirt road, down this thing, and then it's looping me back to the expressway again. And there was no Take accident. the next left onto US 67 North. And there's no accident on the expressway. I have no idea... Why we're here. Why this does it, but we get a little scenic detour. It's beautiful. Home sweet home. I made it. This sucker was massive and I had a sharp learning curve on how to drive but made it 30 plus hours of driving 2,000 plus miles it was insane I just got into my uh, Toyota 4Runner and it felt like I was driving a little clown car with with a window windshield that big because this this one oh my gosh it was crazy so I'm um, getting ready to load it all in and 
wish me luck. I made it home. Back at my house in, with this giant collection, now comes the sorting process where I bring it, put it into various piles, Ninja Turtle, He-Man, G.I. Joe, Miscellaneous, maybe Sideshow, maybe Star Wars. I got this nice little landing right here. So I can, let me show you. So you gotta be extremely careful, but there's a button and I push the button and it takes me down. Okay. Hydraulics, go down, and bring it inside. So we're gonna look at the before, all that stuff. And then, we're gonna, this is still the before. And then, once I bring it all inside, I'm gonna show you the after. And I'm also, as I bring it inside, taking it out of the boxes, breaking down the boxes, because I gotta know what's inside of it. And I have my own sorting mechanism. Ninja Turtles, miscellaneous, G.I. Joe for now, He-Man back there for now. This is gonna be pandemonium, but it's a good pandemonium. All right, wish me luck. All right, I employed some help. Some of the, the kiddos. We're uh, we're like oh, little Justin, Justin. we're like little we lemmings. We got about halfway Justin, done. We have Here, shh, shh, shh. Get down. it's okay. It's okay. My mom and I do not hit that button with our daddy there. He won't. He won't. Doing good. It's not filling up too bad. We're... So uh, it's like three hours later. Just got it unpacked, and I promised you I would show you before and after. So. My back's ready to split into Mine too. <laughs> How you holding up there, mother? The back. I know. <laughs> so, uh, lots of boxes. And this is probably only a quarter of it. A lot, we've been unpacking the boxes as we go mm -hmm. and making different piles like Miscellaneous, Ninja Turtles, uh, Star Wars, G.I. Joe. So I just got the final amount of boxes in. Tons of packing material. I mean, every single classified figure, Darkwing Duck. I put a lot of the bigger things in here. Um, I don't even know what's in this. Not even a clue. I mean, I'm gonna find out later. But really, really neat things like the Thunder Tank, um, the Hiss Tank from G.I. Joe. This will probably go in my personal collection. Attorney, I still have, I didn't get that from him, but I gotta mail that out. Bunch of Mondo, He-Man stuff, um, Tweeter Head Catwoman, which I'm sure is fantastic. But yeah, I just started kind of putting the higher end, bigger things in here. And as you can see, we got we got a lot of work in front of us, but uh, it's fun. amazing. It is fun. Thank, Christmas. thank you. Some more Star Wars. Oh yeah, yeah, Star Wars. Um, really cool full set of the Super 7 uh, Thundercats. Oh, I gotta go. The dust has settled. Um, got it all out yesterday. And my mom and I spent this morning unpacking all the boxes, getting the packaging materials so I can kind of get a grasp of everything that there is. Um, so, without further ado, let's go check it out. We're in my toy I put some of the higher end things in here <clears throat> and larger things as well. So I'll probably attack this first as far as um, selling it because I space is an issue. I don't have storage units and whatnot. A couple things I'll definitely keep in my collection like this snake eyes and timber. That is beautiful. That's definitely going in my collection. Some things that I'm on the fence about are like this Medusa. I gotta see how much it's worth before I figure out if I'm gonna keep her or not. Cause I gotta recoup my cost, and I want to see. I want to save everything, but I don't want to just keep all the high end stuff. So some of the stuff I don't even know what's in there. I think there's a lot of statues. Ooh, you were discretion advised. Um, of Alice in Wonderland, and some busty female <laughs> statues as well. But NECA, Ninja Turtle cartoon van. That's going to be on the fence if I keep or not because it's beautiful. Um, some hot toys or sideshow over here. Then in the corner, these are the. Ma he didn't have a, a ton of Masters of the Universe, so that's what came. Some Mondos, some Origins. Um, my mother is 
Still working hard. How you doing? Good. Best employee I ever had. <laughs> uh, lots, almost every single classified figure, which is cool. And then just some shells and parts and pieces that I'll have to go through. Um, some neat 25th anniversary G.I. Joes as well. And But, I mean, there's a couple of them that are bangers. You know, the Collector's Club. You don't see that every day. I'll show that last. The star, pile of Star Wars. More Star Wars. Cowboys of Moo Mesa. You remember those? They remade them. Right there. Probably premium DNA. I don't know who made that. Then we got some Thundercats here. You really like Thundercats. I believe it's a full set of all the Super 7 Thundercats. Just by me posting a picture on my Facebook account. Uh, let's see, someone zoomed in on it, and I got multiple messages to buy the Thunder Tank, and I've already sold that. Like, that's the blessing part of just doing these videos. I get a lot of people, I'm going to upgrade my crane, that see things, zoom in on things, and say, I need XYZ, and I go, yep. Um, I can't wait to kind of look at these. I've never owned them before. Oh, art scale, wow. Some beautiful Thundercat statues. This is all... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a lot of the NECA, Super 7, and we got some vintage hidden around and some of the retro ones, but Turtles, check this out. There's something you don't see every day, huh? Beautiful vintage Mikey with the tractor, the Pops, the Gargoyles, and then this pile is all miscellaneous that will kind of sort, maybe take out video game things because the way I sell like I'll go through the classifieds are what I'm going to do first <laughs> my mom Thor <laughs> uh classifieds I do them in blocks so if I have five hours of time I make a list of all the ones I have I look them up on eBay I beat eBay prices then I post them on my Facebook account and things move so quickly because it's cheaper than people can find it any place else and I'll in one day get rid of all the classified figures which is awesome likewise with these I'll find like-minded or like items all the legends all the pops all the Ghostbuster things I bunch them up I attack them and I sell them in stuff like that people ask me if I have a store or eBay I go nope nope I just sell how I sell the biggest complaint I get is why didn't you give me first dibs? Well, I have 50 people asking for first dibs. I say, sorry, follow me on Facebook, hit that notification thing so you get notifications. First come, first serve. And normally my stuff sells within minutes. But really, really, really cool things. Um, bunch of Figma in here. Figma just makes some high end. I know the lighting's bad. The packaging makes it hard to see. Some cool, I think a sound wave's also in there someplace. Uh, I never saw this one, this Mega Man. Beautiful packaging. Wow. It's gonna, holy moly. It's gonna be hard to let go of a lot of these pieces because I wanna keep everything. I think I already have an Inspector Gadget. I haven't put them on display yet, so that'll be going. And just, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, every which way. Um, but yeah, that's, that whole box truck is what you see right now. Um, so we really, really condensed it down. I'll just show you something fun. This is my kind of my inventory room. Totes and whatnot. Stuff I need to sell. But all these boxes, and there's stacks of boxes kind of hidden back there, all came from that load. And more impressive is all the packaging material. Because all that stuff he bought... You know, the, she was wrapped in bubble wrap. He didn't really take anything out, or he would take it out, look at it, and put it back. So, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, blah, 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 all this stuff is bubble wrap. And unfortunately, a week ago, I ordered like six rolls of the giant stuff. So, that's coming in the mail, and I'm going to be good on packaging material and boxes for the next umpteen years. Uh, Rolling Thunder, I think, in box, G.I. Joe, vintage. So, that's neat. I just wanted to give you a quick sneak peek. Um, I am sorry because when I post little pictures on Facebook and say, hey, look at this haul and people zoom in, I get 20, 30 messages. I can't go through them. I'm driving, I'm doing this. 
I have to keep sorting. So a lot of those go unanswered until I have a, and I write them people's names down on a notepad. And when I have maybe probably next week, late next week, when finally the dust settles, I get this all priced. Uh, then I'll start attacking those messages and going through and someone's like, I want this, I want that, I want this. And that's how I do it. Hook people up left and right. So make sure you're following me on Facebook because I say it and it's not a gimmick. I sell cheaper than you will find any place else. And if you find it cheaper, I'll go, yep, okay, you did. I'll beat it. And a couple people challenged me that. Uh, I said that in a G.I. Joe vehicle post recently. And people are pulling up eBay listings. Not complete or 25th. No, the two people that did it to me ended up getting egg in their face because they were showing me wrong ones or not complete ones. And I'm like, listen, guys. No, you can't beat this. <laughs> All right, see ya. Thank you, Ryan, so much. It was a pleasure meeting you, and we wish you luck on your upcoming yeah. surgery. All right, we're on All the right. road. Got 10 hours left to get back to Southwest Michigan. I got my mom here. How you doing? Doing great, having fun. Yeah, are you? Are you? I mean, we had a long day yesterday, didn't we? About 3.30 in the morning start, early start. I mean, we're supposed yeah. to get up at 5, and... Yeah, yeah, so I, I got you up a little early, and instead of our 5 o'clock departure, we left at 4.30, or sorry, 6 o'clock. Yes. I don't remember what time we were supposed to leave, it's all a blur. Anyway, we got on the road for 16 some hours, and got there 11 o'clock our time, 10 o'clock their time. You got to meet Ryan, who was uh, selling the collection. That was a blessing. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed meeting him. What'd you buy? Um, I bought for my espresso this uh, really, it's like an old Avon red glass mug, so it's heavy and really pretty. Yeah, yeah. So that's my, that's my espresso in the morning. Nice, nice. Well, thank you again for this quality time together. Thank and you. Uh, we'll be going to we'll stop halfway, get some dinner, and get a hotel. Take care. <laughs>